Hey, oh, everybody, it's the Crypto Rocker with the Crypto Rocker channel, and the ETFs have been approved. Yes, the Bitcoin Spot ETF has been approved, and there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on these last couple of days. Um, about two days ago, I think it was on the 9th, the... They came out with a tweet. All of a sudden, this Twitter shows up. This tweet shows up on Twitter, on X, that says that the Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. Well, as soon as that came out, the markets just shot up, right? All the way up to like $48,000 from $44,000, $45,000. Then, all of a sudden, Gary Guseldorf for the SEC gets on and says, no, the SEC has been, the SEC Twitter account has been hacked and some hacker out there uh, has posted up a fake post saying that the ETF would, was approved. So he comes out and he says, no, that was, that was a fake, it was hacked and they have not been approved. So the market, of course, immediately dumps. Pump and dump, all in one day. Market pumps on this news. Then Gary Gutfeld comes out and says, no, it's, it's false news, it's fake news. Market dumps back down. Okay. Insanity, right? So then the next day, we all go to sleep that night. Next day we get up. That's the 10th. That's yesterday. We wait all day, and it was late in the day, but finally we get the news, yes. They have approved all of the ETFs, and the re and and it was almost like they were forced to do it because Gary Guzler got him got his butt kicked so many times last year. Every single he must have fired off like a hundred lawsuits against a hundred different crypto companies, and he got beat every single time. Which is a testament to the fact that we still have courts in this country that are hanging on to the rule of law and they, they may be the only thing standing between us and these insane globalist sycophants who hate Bitcoin and hate crypto, the people that Gary Guzzler works for. I've talked about this before. There's a whole gang in Washington. It's Gary Guzzeldorf. You got Elizabeth, the conniption fit Warren, the Biden administration, the Obamas, the Clintons, you know, and they all work for George Soros. Okay. And in case you haven't noticed, these people hate the United States of America. They hate freedom. They hate patriotism. They're taking a wrecking ball to our country in a million different ways. And I don't even want to go over all that because I talk about crypto on my channel here. So anyway, really happy. The ETF has gotten approved. There's a possibility that more, they're already talking about a, 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 a Ethereum spot ETF that could be coming. Uh, one of the things that Gary... Guzzler came out and said on his um, post when he was giving the approval, as he started talking about how he was saying things like, you know, Bitcoin is a very risky asset. We in no way, this, this ETF approval is in no way an endorsement of the SEC of Bitcoin and anything like that, because Bitcoin is used around the world for illicit activities and money laundering, he said. And for him to say something like that is so ridiculous considering how much the U.S. dollar is used for all of those things around the world. I mean, it is so unbelievable. You know, there's a reason why when you watch all those Hollywood movies and they're doing like a big drug deal in the movie and the guy shows up and he's got a suitcase full of money and he opens it up, what is it? It's $100 bills, U.S. money, okay? There's a reason why they do that. Because the U.S. dollar is used all over the world. When they, if they go over to Colombia and they bust some big drug king and they find bales and bales of money, take a wild guess what kind of money it is that they're finding. It's U.S. dollars. The U.S. dollar is used all over the world. And here's the thing that's really stupid about his statement. Criminals for decades have been using the U.S. dollar for all this different illicit activity, money laundering, drug deals, whatever. 
right? And nobody can track what they're doing. Nobody can see what they're doing. If they're making some deal behind closed doors in the dark of night with U.S. dollars, nobody knows about it. Nobody can see it. Nobody can track it. Nothing can be done. Okay? It never sees the light of day. And, but the thing about blockchain technology, blockchain technology and Bitcoin is actually going to give such a advantage to law enforcement and to the DEA and Interpol and because they will, they, you can see everything that t- transpires on the blockchain. If criminals try to, how do you think that they even know about that? Because you can already see it. Okay, you can see when some criminal tries to do something on the blockchain. It, it's like it's transparent. That's the beautiful thing about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. It's actually going to bring a real equal playing field. It's going to stop criminals. If anything, Bitcoin is going to be a huge advantage to stopping illicit activity. Okay, and it's also going to bring a back a just balance to our money system because our money system, you may have noticed, is all out of whack. The people at the very top, the people who control the system, the, the big central bankers, they're the most con- corrupt people on the planet. Okay, and these are people that are just exactly like George Soros. George Soros is one of them. You may remember many, many years ago when George Soros went over and pretty much destroyed the entire British economy by shorting the British pound. He shorted it all the way down to the ground. Do you think he cared how many people he hurt doing that? No. This guy is a monster, okay? The government really needs to go after him and maybe even use like RICO laws or something like that. They had these laws back in the day when they had these big mafia guys who would... Everything they would do, they would just do it right under the radar or just behind the scenes so that nobody could get them. Well, they they developed these laws called the RICO laws. And basically what the RICO laws said is that, you know, if you've got enough circumstantial evidence that shows that a person is doing something, we that, that gives us enough probable cause to go after them. And that's how they got these guys. You know what I mean? Because they would always give their orders through proxies. And they would always do everything behind closed doors. And many of them started doing this. They'd cover their mouths when they were out in public. And they would never speak to anybody over the phone. And they would only have these very whispered conversations where they would whisper in people's ears. So the FBI and law enforcement couldn't get them. Couldn't do anything. So they had to develop a new way to do that. And that was the RICO laws. They need to use the RICO laws against George Soros and against these people. Okay? And ask yourself this question. Why is it that all these people hate crypto so much. These are the most corrupt people. These are the people who just lie for a living. And yet they hate crypto and they hate Bitcoin. Why? You you really have to ask yourself why. Okay. Anyway, real happy that the, uh, the ETF has been approved. Um, See you guys next time on the Crypto Rocker Channel. Ha ha!